Hello, my friends. God bless everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend wherever you're at in this nation. I hope uh, you're having a good Sunday morning. And most important, I hope you're going to church wherever you're at this morning. I hope that you have the ability to go give reverence and worship the Lord. Oh, that's exactly what I want to talk about this morning. I want to talk about the Lord. Actually, I want to talk about Jesus Christ, which is my main topic in just about every video, or at least I try to get to that point. Um, I've noticed lately there's an undercurrent in this country of, well, I, I'm just going to say it like I see it, of uh, hatred towards Christians and towards um Jesus, you know, there, there's a hatred, there's this, this underlying current, really, that's running through this nation, that's mostly led by the left in this country, because they are mostly atheist, you know, they, they uh, support abortion, uh, you know, they support a lot of things that go against the Bible, and uh, so there, there is an undercurrent of hatred towards Christians and Christianity, and if you know your Bible, you know uh, the New Testament, Jesus went through the same type of thing uh, with him and his apostles. Um, he had, when he would go from town to town, and he would preach, he would attract a lot of people, and he would also attract a lot of uh naysayers, a lot of non-believers, especially uh, a lot of the Jewish hierarchy uh, within the Jewish church. Uh, they despised Christ. They thought uh, what he was doing was total blasphemy against God because, as you know, Christ is the Son of God. He claimed such and they just could not grasp the notion that Jesus was who he said he was. They could not grab that notion. They could not, for any way, could they hold on to that. So therefore, there was a lot of animosity, a lot of hatred, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, just, just a lot of hate. And eventually we end up, uh, we all know what happened. They ended up crucifying Christ. They had an opportunity uh, when Christ was arrested. Uh, Pontius Pilate, who was the governor of that time in that region, um, there was a holiday. And on this specific holiday, the tradition was to release a criminal. So Pontius Pilate brought out Jesus of Nazareth, as we know, this is all in the Bible, and he bought, brought out a man by the name of Barabbas, who was a murderer. And he asked the crowd which ones, which one they wanted released. And the crowd overwhelmingly hollered, Barabbas, we want Barabbas released. And Pontius Pilate said, well, what am I to do with Jesus of Nazareth? I really do not find any crime that he's committed. And the Jews, pretty well much in unison, screamed out, crucify. They wanted Christ crucified. They wanted him dead. We're seeing that today in mainstream America. We're seeing these people that's on the, what they would consider the left side, that despise Christians, Christianity, the cross. They don't believe in any of this, and therefore they're on the attack. And this undercurrent, which has been kind of uh, bubbling under for a while has really recently burst to the top when you see people like the gentleman from Goya Foods the other day mention God 
in his speech and the president, they go absolutely ballistic. Now they all want to boycott Goya Foods. A few months prior, it was the gentleman that owned my pillow. Had the to to them, he had the sheer audacity to bring up God, to bring up the Bible. How dare he? And of course, everybody wanted to boycott my pillow, and that man was slandered and run through the mud on television. Why? These are modern, modern day people that are for Barabbas and against Christ. They want their Barabbas. They want their violence. They want their crookedness. They want all of it, the evil, the vileness, everything that encompassed Barabbas in Christ's time, that's what these people want. They do not want good, wholesome family values. They want the opposite. They want perversion. They want abomination. They want to live their life and, and do any vile thing they see fit. And now it's gotten to the point where they're trying to, as I've said on this channel many times, they're trying to normalize pedophilia. This is why I'm talking about they, today, the left, they're the ones screaming for Barabbas. They are the ones. When you have papers like the New York Times trying to make sense of a pedophile, trying to normalize that person as just a person who just so happens to be attracted to children, and we shouldn't jump to conclusions on these people, and we shouldn't persecute them. This was in the New York Times. Go look it up. Just within the last six weeks, early summer. But yet, it's perfectly fine to label Christians racist, white nationalists, the whole nine yards. Although, a lot of the African American community and the Latino community are, are built upon faith-based based communities that are Christian. They believe in Jesus Christ. But you had, at one point, this fringe group that was on the outskirts of the Democratic Party that have now became the main focal point of that party, the main voice, the main, uh, you know, the, the ones that point the direction that they're going to go in. And that's why I call these people that are in America, I call them, you know, the Barabbases. They, they want the bad. They want to defund the police. They want to remove law and order from our streets. They want to open borders. All knowing that if you open that border wide open like they want, they have to know, ladies and gentlemen, they have to know that when they open that border, that there's going to be terrorists that hate this nation, that everything it stands for, and they're going to flood across that border, all right? And they're going to get on buses, just like they did in Israel for years, and they're going to blow up buses, and they're going to bomb schools, and they're going to unleash a uh, terror upon this nation that the likes has never been seen before. But this is why I call them the Barabbases. This is what they want. Now, I know you're saying, well, you know, you're crazy. How would anybody want, you know, evil? And that, Well, when you are against what this country stands for, when you are against capitalism and you're against God, who this nation, mind you, was built upon, not God of some other religion, God of the Holy Bible... They want to tear that down and build their Marxist, socialist, communist, whatever you want to call it, utopia, which would be hell on earth if you want to know the truth. 
So of course I can link them to a Barabbas because that's what they entail. That's what they are. As it says in Isaiah chapter 5, and I will close with this, chapter 5, verse 20, Woe unto them that call good evil and evil good, that see lightness for dark and darkness for light, and taste bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This is what we're dealing with. They truly accept evil as it's good, it's acceptable, it's okay. The perversions, the abominations, it's normal, it's good, it's okay. It's fine to tell third graders about their sexuality. It's perfectly fine to tell a seven-year-old he can be a girl and start giving him hormones and or estrogen or whatever, a female, you know what I mean? It's perfectly fine, it's normal. This is why I use Isaiah 520 for the Barabbases of America. That's all I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Please take into account what I've said today. Don't go out and attack anybody. I don't care if they're persecuting or whatever. You pray. Remember what Jesus told each and every one of us to do, the ones that follow and believe. He told us to pray for our persecutors, the ones that are our enemies, to pray for them, not only to pray, but to love them. Okay? That is the key. Yes, it's hard to do. I'm not going to deny it's hard to pray for somebody that is persecuting you for your faith, your belief in Christ. But that's what Jesus expects each and every one of us to do, including yours truly. I have problems sometimes. Believe me. Believe me when I tell you. I have to pray and ask God to take away anger from my, from my heart sometimes because these people just aggravate me to no end. But I give it to God. I give it to the Lord. And He takes it. And that's the key. Give it to God. Take care. God bless. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Y'all know. Those do help me. Believe it or not. They really do. The more I can subscribe... The more views on my videos I can get, it helps to get the message of Jesus Christ out. And that's my goal. Not money, not any type of anything, but to get the message of Jesus Christ out to the masses. That is it. Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.